Hey guys, there's a part of town we try to avoid because the roads are even narrower than they are around the rest of town and because it's a bit of a rabbit warren so unless we really want to come down here for some particular reason we try to avoid it but having come down here recently for something else the th had, we had the thought that maybe some of you guys might find it interesting maybe some people from some cities in Europe and from other parts of the world might be used to these sorts of little streets but we know that there's some people in other parts of the world that aren't used to touch such tiny streets so we thought we'd show you what this looks like and show you what it's like obviously it's because this town here's, a, here's one look at that it just disappears it just becomes wide enough for a bicycle this happens a lot down here this is one of the reasons we don't come down here real much unless you really know it well it's really easy to get yourself into some street that gets smaller and smaller until you can't turn around and we showed you at the start of this how small this car is it's really small so if you were to come in here at anything bigger than this uh, you might not get out <laughs> so the plan for this video was actually to drive around a few streets not to get stuck up one like this but uh, probably a good illustration <laughs> good illustration of what it's like just enough room I and mean, this car's pretty tiny and it's just enough room either side here for the mirrors anyone coming <laughs> all right try again oh someone's coming here we go back we go So obviously, where did we where did we get to in the narration? Well, this is going to be a fairly uh, hodgepodge narration because not really sure where we're going here. There was a couple of streets I wanted to show you in particular, but I'm not sure I can find them again. But obviously, obviously these these little streets were originally made for foot traffic, and at the very most, maybe one horse and a small cart or sort of the rickshaw style of thing was popular in Japan too. There's a, a small cart powered by one dude was about all that these were made for hundreds of years ago, of course. And then over the years, once they started to bring in little cars, they obviously needed to bitumen them and try to make them so that you could get a car up them. That's a dead end. That's a dead end, finishes at an old, see there's a Kura. See the Kura? I'll go for a little bit, you can see it. See the little white window up high there with the bars on it? That's a kura. So that building is a kura. That's a storehouse, old storehouse. We made a video about those once, beautiful old buildings. So yeah, that little street just disappears. So where'd we get to? Yes, yeah, so of course these were made originally for foot traffic. So people, just for people walking and for the occasional rickshaw and for the occasional small, small cart with a horse. They were never designed, nobody had any idea that cars were going to exist of course but as you can see from the cars we're passing people still manage to get their cars down here you'll notice most uh, what we call uh, yellow plate cars which is the K car which is the smallest style of car you can get in Japan because obviously the bigger ones aren't going to get down here so first of all well, that's an interesting little train crossing hang on wait a minute so first of all of course these things weren't designed for cars they're only designed for people and small small things and then the next thing of course is these pieces of land here that these houses are on aren't real big either which means people tend to build their walls right up to the end of their boundaries sometimes crossing the boundaries in fact it's quite interesting they recently surveyed some of the roads around this town and they found that there was uh, the roads they marked a center in the road and put, put a, a sort of a pin every few meters in the center of the road and you could see from that that some of the houses actually encroached onto the road so some of the houses actually overlapped onto the road and that's that's quite common too because obviously everybody's trying to get every inch that they can and because a lot of these houses or a lot of these properties have been here being occupied for hundreds of years so 
over the years, you know, surveying techniques would have uh, would have improved. And of course, years ago they wouldn't have been so strong. And see, one thing they do, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the right here, this wall, they've actually put a 45 degree angle on that wall to give you a chance of getting around it. And the wall on the left too, as it turns out, which we might take advantage of. Because obviously a 90 degree wall with two little narrow streets like this makes it really hard to get around the corner. Whereas if we've got a, a wall with a 45 degree angle on it, it gives us a better chance. Oh, we're not gonna make this in another go either. Uh, I'll try another strategy one second. <laughs> All right, I see it. Hey, we'll go forward here. Anyone got any ideas? <laughs> it's like you're doing a puzzle, isn't it? We come back. Now, of course, the locals who live in these little streets all have their own techniques, so they know how to get through here without without bumping into walls. Oh, that's close. <laughs> this video could go for an hour and a half if I get stuck. <laughs> Hang on, wait a minute. That's a bit of a hole, what was that? Oh, I don't like the feeling of that. Oh, there's a little... Okay, we're through. We could get down the end of this and find that it's a dead end. That happens too. Look, look that, that's a new house on our right there. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So they have got the trucks down here to build a new house there. Unbelievable. So they've probably pulled down the great, great, great grandfather's house because it was falling down on its own already probably. And then they've, they've built a new house. Oh look, we know we're getting onto a bigger street here. See the two mirrors at the top? So that means this is a bit more of a substantial street. Okay, car coming from the right. Something coming from the left too, I think. One, two. Okay, We're looking okay there. Let's come out and have a look. Oh, sorry, old man behind me, sorry. Okay, beautiful old homes in here. So of course, this is a really old part of town. It's a bit closer to the ocean, so probably one of the first areas around town to be settled. Uh, that's where we're gonna go. We go up there, oh yeah. Actually, having said that, show you how close the ocean is from, from here. You can see the sand already in between the houses here. So there'll be people wondering what happens if we get a car coming the other way. Well, it'll probably, it's probably gonna happen, so we'll see. But it all depends on who's got the closest option to where they can back into, and who's the youngest. <laughs> it seems that a lot of the old guys just don't even try. A lot of the old guys, if, you, if an old guy comes around the corner now, it's quite possible he'll just stop and, and not even try. There we go, the road's just stopped. Yep, nothing there. Yeah, if you come across one of the old guys in a little street like this, even if he's the closest to somewhere to turn around, there's a good chance that he'll just, whoops, didn't mean to do that, that's embarrassing. It'll, there's a good chance that he will just, he will just sit. If you encounter an old guy coming back the other way here, it's likely he'll just sit and wait for you. And even if he's got somewhere close that he can back into, it's likely he won't even try. He'll just let you back off, no matter how far you have to go. Just, uh, just what they do, just what the old guys do. <laughs> I'm an old guy, you back off. Seems to be the attitude. There's a taxi. What are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna go to the left here. We go straight ahead. I have a feeling we might go to the left. No, let's go straight ahead. We'll go straight ahead and see what's up there. Taxi was waiting for us to come out. Let's see what's up here. So there's actually, there is actually smaller roads leading off to either side here, or smaller tracks leading off to either side of us here. But 
they tend not to go anywhere. That's why we're not going up them because they 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 be narrower than this, and they wouldn't go to anywhere. They just go up to somebody's house. So it's a bit pointless going up one of those just to back down it again. That's a bit crazy. Not really what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to give you a little bit of a look around. All right, this is where we started. Okay, so <laughs> you can see what a maze this place is. <laughs> it's a crazy, crazy place. So occasionally we do have to come down here, and we don't. We try and avoid it because it's it's just crazy. And the the navy doesn't work down here because whoever they plot the cars or the car they used to plot the cars or whatever, obviously must have had trouble getting down here. So. Let's go around again. Taxi's still there. Amazing old houses, aren't they? Japanese taxi. Cleanest taxis in the world, where well, I think our video is called about the Japanese taxis. Absolutely amazing, immaculately clean they are with their white lace in there. Beautiful old cars. Not all that old, some of them. Even the new ones look like that. They, they like the Black London cabs. So even the new ones look like the old ones. We should make this video interactive, guys, where you can decide which street you want to go down. How's that one look? Oh, it goes down to a temple, I think. Look, let's have a look at this. See, this is often the case because this whole area that we're going through here is obviously a little community. So it's all here, there's temples and shrines and little old shops and so this is actually an entrance to a temple. Check it out, see this little thing on the left there to wash your hands? Oh, there's the old guys in there doing his thing. Isn't that interesting? I can turn around in here I think. Oh that's beautiful, I haven't actually been in this one before, it's a nice one isn't it? Look at that. gentleman over there doing his thing. That's a nice one, didn't even know it was here. So of course in the days before cars, these communities, everything was within walking distance. The, this is a fishing and pottery town so there's a lot of pottery kilns going on around here and there's guys going fishing from the boats down near the ocean which is just near here. Lots of little shops around here and the temples and the shrines and it was all here really so and of course no one was driving anywhere or catching trains anywhere so everything was within walking distance pretty much horses weren't that weren't that normal here there's most of these little old houses didn't have didn't have anywhere for a horse and most of these people didn't have horses they'd walk everywhere yeah again both sides of this here we've got these little streets that go off that are smaller which is sort of fun to show you because it's just, you know, they get smaller and smaller and until your mirrors either side of the car start to touch. But you guys have sort of got the idea about that. I don't know how many of those we need to go down, do we? We need to go down a couple more like that, show the craziness of it. Looks like another new house down here. This is amazing where you get all these middle of a really old area like this and suddenly up these tiny little streets you find a couple of new houses built. Ah, oh, we're right next to the ocean again here, that's why. So someone's built a bit, spent a bit of money building a new house. Yeah, the ocean's right there behind that wall. That's, a, that's actually a tsunami wall, that wall that was in front of us there with the stairs on it. The concrete wall is actually a tsunami wall. So it is a bit low down here. This is uh, this is either zero above sea level or about a meter above sea level here. So these guys are really in deep trouble. If there is a big tsunami that gets over that tsunami wall, a tsunami of more than about five or six meters would probably come over that wall there. And this area would get really wet, which is um, a little bit scary. But of course these guys, you know, a lot of these houses have been in the family. A lot of these, these properties here 
have been in the family for hundreds and hundreds of years. So, you know, the house that that's actually on the land now might have might have been the fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth house that's been there, and been built there by the family. So, these guys don't really want to move, you know. Okay. Pop down this way. Vending machine. <laughs> Vending machine on the corner. Yoy. So this this used to be all pottery kilns and fishing warehouses and things in the past. It's sort of a mixture now of abandoned old places and some modern type industrial type places. Now straight ahead there's going to disappear again. There's going to be nothing up there except that tsunami wall again. We'll go along here. And this is actually the back of a school. And we're getting back into a, a decent sized road again, relatively speaking. <laughs> There we go. Ah, luxury. <laughs> luxury. Anyway, that was the that was the old part of town. Actually, it's all old around here, but it's it's just that's what happens when you get off these main roads. So these main roads originally were a bit wider because they're big, important roads. So these ones that some people refer to as being narrow roads are actually the widest roads in town because obviously these ones there's enough room here for two of us to pass each other so in this town these are the wide roads and these obviously were the, the big main thoroughfares in the past where the old buildings were set back a little bit so we've managed to get a decent road through here but as soon as we get off these you can see what it was like and that's quite normal in little towns so if you do find yourself driving in Japan and and you find yourself in the countryside or in little towns or even sometimes in the big cities you have to be really wary of that because that can happen that can happen a lot where you have you have a road like this one and then you decide oh, I'll go down here I'll try to go through that way and you get onto a small road and that can happen they can just get smaller and smaller and smaller and, and eventually just turn into a walking track and that's really common that's really really common they get so small they just become a walking track and you can't get your car through there at all so we actually showed a video once before on the wheels playlist of a lady, a Japanese lady who'd driven her car onto a little road between two rice fields and that road got narrower and narrower and narrower until eventually the left wheels of the car actually dropped off the road into the rice field because it actually wasn't wide enough at the end for a little car to go, to go through. It, it got narrow, narrow until eventually it was just a walking track. So. Here comes up Patrolu. We've showed you these before, guys. Patrolu. That car with the blue flashing light is just a local old man driving around the streets, keeping an eye out for perverts. Or maybe an old lady and an old man by the look of it. Anyway, hopefully somebody found that a little bit interesting. More videos. Coming soon.